like maybe oval shape, circular shape with some customized color and it will do the same task and it will do the as similar task as a default button used to do means we are only going to customize the appearance not the functionality of any control so let's go and see the implementation regarding the control templates now let's get started with the implementation of control template and here for this example i have taken a button as i said and here it is a default appearance button with the grayish background, the rectangle shape and with the text click me. Now as I said I will try to make some changes in this button appearance and for that let's come to the example here and uh, let's put a split layout alright. So let me just make it a pair tag alright and now inside this tag I will start doing some manipulation. So first of all what I'll do, I'll say button dot template. Alright, as soon as I'll do that, I'll I'm going to start to change and to customize the appearance of this button. So inside this I have something called control template which is actually our topic. So now you will see as soon as I added this control template inside this button, the appearance, the overall appearance of this particular control is gone. Alright, because so far the default control template was in action because of which uh, the appearance was there but now I'm, changed, I'm going to change the default appearance. So inside this control template what I will do, I will put some customized shape with colors and then I will do the required changes. So first of all here I will tell that for which particular control I am going to create this control template since it is inside the button but inside this also I am going to use some different shapes, some different text or maybe some more things. So what I will do I will go for the property called target type and I will choose button. That means whatever changes I am going to make inside that will also behave as a button itself. Now. As I said, I can put a couple of things inside, so I may want to use a container. So as we know that there is a container called grid, similarly I can use this grid here as well. So I will use grid and inside this grid I can use a couple of things like first thing which I will do here is the shape. Alright, so for example I want to make it in ellipse shape. Alright. And if you want to make it filled with some color or maybe if you want to go for some resources, you can anytime start putting those resources here which we have already covered. But for now, I will use the hard coded value to make it simple. As you can see, I have placed the orange color here. Alright, so this orange color is coming here for this ellipse but you see my content is gone. Alright. So what can I do to get my content back? I'm going to add a content presenter. Here you can see the content is already there. Alright, means content is already specified. So as soon as I will use the content presenter out here, you will start getting this content value that is click me. It is not aligned because by default it is taking the position of a rectangular button itself. But what I can do is I can change the value to the vertical alignment to center and horizontal alignment to center. And as soon as I do that, this is aligned and it will keep working as the button. So when I click here, there is a message box dot show. I just created the handler for this. So this is my customized button all right so let's save the changes let's execute and here you can see this fancy button when you click here this is my customized button all right so this is how you can make the required changes right here in the example of the button or of any control to make your control template